In less than two weeks, global leaders will meet in Egypt for the annual climate change summit. And Scott, we got a United Nations report just this morning, yeah. and it doesn't look very good. It was really disappointing, sobering and disappointing. And because it's, uh, what it comes down to is countries are just not living up to the goals and the promises that they made last year to cut greenhouse gas emissions and also to stop deforestation. It's just not happening. The United Nations climate change report says only 26 of 193 countries have fulfilled their climate change promises made during last year's conference in Scotland. Now, without the big Cuts in emissions promised, the UN scientists say now that the planet will warm between two and three degrees by the end of the century, which will cause, they say, catastrophic climate impacts. U.S. Climate Envoy John Kerry warned global leaders they must commit to implementing those emission cuts. Because of the damage already done to Earth and baked into the atmosphere, until we know how to remove emissions from the atmosphere and do something with them, even this past perilous year may well prove to be better than almost any year ahead of us. The world's two biggest greenhouse gas emitters, China and the United States, have made some progress. China promised it would stop building coal plants overseas, and so far it has scuttled 26 of the 104 planned plants. Here in the U.S., Congress passed President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, which included hundreds of billions of dollars in subsidies for clean energy. But even with that, the U.S. will only reach 80 percent of its emission goals. Climate scientists say the emissions have to be be cut in half by the end of this decade. That's seven years. A second report released by Lancet Cut, uh, Countdown, which is an international collaboration of researchers that independently monitors the health consequences of a changing climate, says that the heat-related deaths in the last two decades have increased by two-thirds. The study, which included doctors from the World Health Organization, says air pollution from fossil fuels contributed to more than one million deaths in 2020. All right, methane gas, it is a big push in uh, climate change. It is responsible, it's 80% more potent in the driving of global warming than carbon dioxide. And NASA is using a satellite, you can see it right there, to pinpoint where the gas is leaking into the environment. The satellite images show more than 50 places around the planet emitting huge Huge amounts of methane, including oil and gas fields in New Mexico's Permian Basin and similar f facilities in Turkmenistan and Iran. More than 100 countries have signed a pledge to try and cut methane emissions. Now, the leading 20 industrial countries on the planet, including the U.S., are responsible for 80 percent of all greenhouse gas emissions. Jay, there is a ray of hope inside this report because uh, because of the cuts that have been implemented, greenhouse gas emissions are actually not going to increase after 2030. They're going to kind of hold steady. The problem oh, with that is <laughs> they needed to be cut in half right. by 2030, not hold steady. That's the dilemma. It's stunning, the lack of urgency and political will towards this issue, really. And if you think back to last year when we were covering all of this and all of this was happening, I kept saying politics are local. They make these promises globally. Yeah. Then they go back and they face the reality of local politics and local economies, and they can't implement them. All right, Scott, thank you.